School corporations across Indiana pivoted to e-learning to finish out the school year. CBS 4's Melissa Crash shares the problems parents in one Indianapolis district had with the e-learning execution. I would really like to come back to school. Soon to be junior Gabrielle Benjamin isn't the only student who has mixed feelings about at home learning. Without having the teacher there to like kind of get me to do my work, it's hard to like stay on it. In fact, roughly 100 students and 600 families voiced their opinions in a survey conducted by Washington Township Schools. The questions were really uh, general questions related to. Um, what's gone well with at home learning? Uh, obviously, what do we still need to work on? What have been some challenges for uh, our families during this time? Sean Taylor is the assistant superintendent. His team is still reviewing the data. Questions for families varied from communication to workload. The district also surveyed educators to see what it's been like to teach at home and how it could be improved. And then there were some things, some things that we could certainly improve upon. You know, um, I think our parents still want that uh, differentiation. Uh, they still wanted, they they wanted more of that Zoom type direct direct instruction. This comes at an important time for the district as they ask voters to approve two referendums, a $285 million construction referendum and a $16 million operating referendum for eight years. I think if anything, uh, the community has seen how valuable our schools are during times, and particularly times of crises like we are currently going through. And so, uh, yeah, we just we, we hope that they can also see that that long term plan that we are uh, mapping out. Taking steps now to plan for when school is back in session or if e-learning needs to stick around. We just want to be prepared for multiple different variations of what a return to school uh, might look like. And, and, you know, there's no greater person to hear from than, than students and families and staff. As of now, the district has not made a call on what the fall semester will look like as they wait for guidance from the governor. Reporting now on the north side, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News.